Introducing Apple Vision Pro. It's got a three and a half inch screen on it. It's really big. Okay, so Apple just announced their big freaking AR headset thing. Uh, and this isn't a video that I would usually make, but I've got some stuff to say, so I'm just gonna say it. First of all, even if every single bit of it is as good as Apple says it is, it is not going to sell. But that's definitely not because the product itself is bad. In fact, I think this thing is really fucking impressive, so I'd actually like to go over some of the positives of this device. First of all, this thing looks fucking badass, come on. It really looks like something straight out of Ready Player One. And when they showed off that feature where the guy looks at the laptop and the display fucking pops out the top like goddamn magic and he's got his like editing timeline up there that was fucking awesome that is like an actual use case and then when the lady was on the plane and she turned the dial and it was all like <laughs> i have confidence that what apple's put together here is the first real convincing functional augmented reality headset but who fucking needs that? <laughs> and for $3,500, this thing costs more than the stupid ass golden frying pan from Team Fortress 2. And what do you even do with this thing? Oh, uh, you can uh, browse the internet and uh, uh, watch movies and uh, um, take a photo. Uh. But uh, uh, you, you can do the thing where, 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 where you're watching the movie and... and, 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 and Oh yeah, well, um, you can have, like, a bunch of screens and, uh... And when they were showing off how you actually use the headset, the only thing that I could think of was the stupid-ass Xbox Kinect. Well, bam There it is! Even when Kinect worked, people still didn't want to be waving their fucking hands around just to use their fucking Xbox, let alone their $3,500 headset. Now, I know it's definitely not going to be anything like Kinect, because this time you're actually interacting with a 3D environment instead of, you know, looking at a screen and waving your hands around. Oh no, oh, no. Captain, Captain Hook! Hook. Whoa. <laughs> But if you actually want to get some work done on this device, like how they're marketing it for, you're definitely going to want to connect a keyboard and mouse to this thing. I've owned an HTC Vive for some time now, and I can tell you that typing on the virtual keyboard with that thing is fucking miserable. And if you don't have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to use with the Vision Pro, you're going to be stuck typing on nothing. Okay, just as like a quick example, would you rather type your master thesis on an iPad keyboard or on a regular keyboard? 99.99999% of people are always going to choose the fucking normal keyboard. And I have a feeling it's going to be the same way with this headset. Would you rather do this? Or this? F. U. C. K. Send. And the fact that they even fucking suggested that you use it as a camera. <laughs> Imagine being the fucking guy walking around at the family picnic with this thing strapped to your noggin, snapping pictures of everyone. You look like the stupidest fucking dumbass in the world doing that. And Apple had the audacity to compare this thing to the launch of the iPod and the iPhone. Like, okay. This thing costs both of your kidneys, you have to wear it so it's even less convenient than a phone, you use it like a Kinect, and you look like an asshole wearing it. Is it any good? Is this headset any good? And the answer is... Well, the technology behind this headset is undoubtedly amazing, but the practical uses that it has are just too niche to justify its price. Everything that this headset can do can already be done by other devices and for cheaper, just with less bells and whistles. I do believe that augmented reality will replace the smartphone as the standard personal computing device, but our current technology ecosystem just isn't ready for something as expensive and unnecessary as this. Once AR headsets stop looking like this and start looking like this, that's when they're gonna take off. I'm done here. beautiful. It's got a full plastic back. It's really nice.